Hello. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening. Whatever time of day you watch this. Yes. Um, you know what's sad is this is the second one we did. Yes, and we were almost through. We the were first. almost through the first floss tube, and it kept throwing it out, and so we started again, and you know everything, and she checked it, and it didn't record, record anything. anything. We were like thirty plus minutes in. Didn't record anything. So anyway, we're going to do this again. Happy okay. Friday. Happy Friday. Um, happy September seventeenth, two thousand twenty-one. Mm -hmm. This is our floss tube number nine. We do put them on uh, floss tube on. Um, YouTube and Facebook. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes. Um, and uh, welcome. I do want to say, you know, welcome. This is, if, if this is new to you, our, our page, uh, you know, like, subscribe, ring that bell. Um, you know, I didn't know that ringing the bell notified you. I, I tell you people, mm, <laughs> I'm, I'm backwards when it comes to electronics. Uh, because I, I have, I have a uh, subscribe to Pete Floss Tubes and I'm like I, I'm like they never I can't find them I blah, blah. well I wasn't I wasn't hitting the bell so <laughs> hit the bell um, you know please uh, subscribe to us that would be great uh, my name is Kim I'm Ashley and um, mother daughter mm -hmm. we own Stitch Etc yes uh, it is a wooden uh, which we'll show you soon a wooden paddle company and mm -hmm. we also um, host retreats mm -hmm. so um, let's see we do have we do have somebody to introduce but he's sleeping yes his name is urban yes. and her little boy wanna so he is a month and a day old he was born on august 16th um like like we said he is sound asleep right now and we um, don't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. he loves to eat and loves car rides and hates sleeping so you know if we get about three hours of sleep a night you know we're doing pretty good um, we did last night, so that was a miracle. And then we were up for four hours and got a two-hour nap. And um, he's oh my god, he's so cute. If he wakes <laughs> up, we'll show you. Yes. I'm sure you guys have seen him on um, my Instagram, on Stitch Etc's Instagram. He's yeah. a, he's adorable. He's beautiful. Blue eyes, red hair, bright red hair, bright red hair, real, um, real coppery. He's so he's so cute. But he's we're, a chunky we're, monkey. We are not waking him. Because all he loves to do is eat. Like I'm, I'm. We're not kidding. That's all. All he loves wants to do. Yeah. Um, so he has some cheeks on him. He's adorable. I would know if, if my grandchild was ugly. He's not. He's really cute. So, like we said, I said he was born on August 16th. Do we do have five winners that guessed um, August 16th? Do so, we... yeah, you want to say it? You can. Uh, okay. Uh, Beth Maxey, mm -hmm. Tammy Bunge, Lynn Ellis, Tony, Lynn, Lynn and Lisa Munchausen. Um, if I said your name wrong, I'm really sorry. Uh, She's reading my handwriting. So. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, let us know your address so if we can. If you haven't ordered from us, if you haven't ordered from us, just let us know. We can uh, drop those in the mail as soon as we get your address, so you can have your very own Stitch Etc. Bag, project or uh, tote bag. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. So, like I said, Beth Maxey, Tammy Bunge, Lynn Ellis, Tony Lynn, Lisa Munchausen. Yes. So. Those are the winners because they guessed the 16th. A lot of you, because he was originally going to be born on the 13th, so a lot of you guys actually had the 13th down. And then, I think the hospital, they delayed me. Uh, I went in on the 15th instead. So, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no Friday the 13th baby here. Well, I'm kind of, I mean, I don't know. I said, I was teased. I was telling him, I'm like, well, it's because you need to stay in there and get a little cuter. <laughs> so, anyway, he's adorable. All right. We... And he's wonderful. And I'll show you picture. I'll sh we'll show you him if he wakes up, but I am not waking him up. Oh, we'll show you at the end so that then we could turn it off if he gets fussy. No, <laughs> if he's sleeping, you guys are going to have to wait till next one. He's going to be around for the next, you know, forever. So we'll, you can catch him. Um, okay. So we're going to do some FFOs. So yes. Kay was out this week. My Monday little, and Wednesday. Monday and Wednesday. And uh, did some finishes for me. Mm -hmm. Kay does the stretching on, uh, puts them on the, the yeah. mat board and then she mounts them on the board and then. I like the fabric board and then I, I do the rest. So let's start with this one. This is a Halloween truffle. Trifle. Trifle. I say truffle. It's trifle. It's from Shepherd's Bush. Yes. Uh, the, they come three patterns per mm -hmm. book. And if you call Shepherd's Bush. Where's the other one? Do you know? Uh, no. It, anyway. Okay. That's just it's another small. Um, it yes, comes in three fabrics. It comes in a uh, spider web which I'll show you in a minute it comes a little dot and it comes in a green but then like 
the Christmas one comes with something. The snowman one comes with snowflakes. Yeah, the fabric's different. Uh, we think it's a 28 count. We're not real I'm sure. I'm pretty sure it's 28. But yeah. we mounted it on uh, with a purple board. And then this is uh, one of our boards. It's a black... Jackson. Jackson. I don't know the names. I call them little squares. Black Jackson. Uh, what I did was I just tied the black and white bow, just a knot. Because I tried everything and it was just, I didn't want a whole lot going on. But I needed, I knew we needed something. So I just did a little knot up there. And it still, still needed something. So then I had these two counting pins. One's a little glittery and one's a skull. And I just stuck them in there. I don't know. It just adds a little... Something. Something. Um, this is going to go in Ashley's uh, three-tiered tray. Mm -hmm. So since she had stitched it, um, does she let me use it so I can show you a finish? It's the only way I get stuff finished. <laughs> uh, so that's okay. So then we've got that. Then this. Hold on, where's the mate? This? Okay. Here's the mate. We had it on one of our new boards the other day, um, but someone... Bought, bought it and I was bought like, a board instead of making another one we just took it off and we'll make one I'll make one for it here yeah. is the other it's this Halloween and it's on the spider fabric spider mm -hmm. web fabric um really cute Ashley does an amazing job stitching so it's on a Garfield and that goes this way and then there's a clip mm -hmm. so Shepherd's Bush came out with these for every season I mean there's Christmas there's snowman there's Valentine's there's St. Patrick's. Patrick. You know, I mean, every season holiday. So what I would like to do is, well, this is hers too, but I'm going to give her another blackboard. But if she did, if you do the other ones, you can just switch, switch you know, it take out. it out and switch it. Literally, it's literally held in by a clip. Mm -hmm. So these will look nice on her um, tiered tray yes. as well. But so, so. That's nice with the clips that you can just easily do that. Cause, I mean, magnets and washers, yes, you can do that as well, but they can get bulky, whereas clips are just... And if you're like me and lazy, you can just go, boop. <laughs> it's yeah, done. 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 So that, that's a Halloween trifle by Shepherd's Bush. Yes. And I think it's 28 camp. It looks like it's 28 camp. It looks like it's 28 camp to me. Okay. So then, uh, Jack Lantern Jubilee from With Thy Needle and Thread. Mm -hmm. Here is, I don't know the name of it. It's the second one in the book. Uh, this is done on 28 count mystery linen. Um, because... Before I knew, before floss tube, before you write everything down, you know, I, I used to have a fabric problem and I have fabric in two different places and I have tons of it and some of it's old and- We uh, are working our way through the fabric. And we're trying to, you know, now, now when I buy fabric, I write it down or I keep the sticker and put it on the pattern or something so that I have some recollection, recollection of it. But not with this, but I know it's 28 count because I can't see anything else. <laughs> um, so we mounted it with, uh, it's got a little padding on it and then we mounted it on this black and orange diagonal check somebody asked where i got my fabric and i, I answered but um i get most of it at joanne's uh, some at hobby lobby uh you Michael's, know at, Walmart. wherever i am one of those people wherever i see it and i like it i buy it because i may never find it again and i just have drawers and drawers and drawers and drawers and drawers and drawers and drawers of fabric uh, and then I have bags and bags and bags of scraps that are just even like little pieces that are too small to do something with. So if I had to guess, I would say Joanne's on that. I have a black and white bow and then I have the orange with the black dot bow on top of it and just a little mother of pearl button up there. This is put on a Van Buren, a black Van Buren of ours. They're five and a half inch square. Yes, that sounds right. I think that's right. Um, any questions always please put it in the note put it down below and if we don't get back to you PM us because I try I do I try to answer we try to answer things but sometimes things get away from us and now especially with a grandbaby um, things get away they get away from me real easy but anyway um, just that's that's Van Buren it's really nice to put all that stuff on so I have that then I have ooh, guess what then I have, this is also from Jacqueline and Jubilee. Jacqueline and Jubilee. This is the very first one in there. She's, I did her in one night. So fun. I love stitching that apron. She's on a mystery 28 count again. Um, her dress is a DMC equivalent because I think it was hickory sticks, I think. Anyway, I didn't have it. And it was one of those, I was going to finish it that night. And, and the broom handle, is 
4.35, it's supposed to be gingerbread, but it was like one of those, I'm finishing it, I'm finishing it. I don't care what I'm doing, I'm finishing it. So, I, fin I mean, I don't know why, but you just sometimes get like possessed that you're going to finish something. Yeah. So it's mounted um, with warm and natural underneath it, so it's a little puffy, and then it's mounted on um, a black and gray diagonal check. I know this is from Joann's because I just bought it. It is on a black Washington Washington board of ours. This is one of our original boards we came out with. Uh, I have a green kind of a burlapy and then a cream and black check, a uh, double bow, like a bow on top of a bow. Um, is there a button in there? No, there's no button in this okay. one. Okay. So like anyway, I really like her. I thought she was cute. Um, so that is that is that. Then I have. A Priscilla and Chelsea uh, deck the halls um, since we live on a farm I always like to do my kitchen in farm my because it's you know like I, I have a tree in the kiss Christmas I have a tree in the kitchen and I have like cows and pigs and chickens and blah 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 blah, blah on it so um, stitch this this is on uh, Ashley's hand dyed black fabric mm -hmm. she uh, dyes she gets monic it's all Monaco, isn't it? Even weave from Hobby Lobby. Okay, this is an even weave, and she's dyed it. Um, she does an amazing job dyeing. She really does. And then that is mounted on uh, Priscilla's Pretty Plaid. And then it, this is also one of our boards. It's, oh, sorry about that. My soda is uh, uh, perspiring. Anyway, uh, red Washington board. And then I added, uh, we have the green burlap bow and a red bow. I, uh, I'm tied them together and I have the, the Santa Jingle Bell. They have them at Hobby Lobby. Priscilla uses them. Mm -hmm. um, it just adds a little extra. And then I just got the greenery at Hobby Lobby. So I don't know if this is going on the tree, if it's going- In our tray. And I don't, I don't know, but this is going in my kitchen at some point. Okay. Then these are, oh, these are stitched. Nope, not that, that goes there. Mm -hmm. These are stitched, but they're not, they're almost, almost, almost. finished. Okay. So, our retreat, the 27th through the 30th, we're having a fall exchange. And Ashley has stitched this. It is, you want to tell the name of it? A hands-on design, auto, like, let, let's talk autumn, chock full. It came out like fall. Here, I have the pattern still. Fall, Actually, Christmas, spring, spring summer. summer. So she stitched this on her hand-dyed. Let's talk autumn. This, that's the, and then down there. I know, I should probably take out the plastic, sorry. So she dyed the fabric, it's 14 count. We don't know if it's denim blue or evening blue. Evening blue. It's one of those two, I don't. The dark, the dark. Anyway, so this is go, it, well it's not. I'm gonna put trim around it. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna do a bow up here with maybe a pumpkin or something. Mm -hmm. This was an incredibly easy stitch. Honestly, the hardest part of it was that filling in the autumn right in there. That took me, I'm sorry. That took me like two days. Everything else took me like a day. I think I was honestly stitching it all while watching the news coverage on Ida, Hurricane Ida. Like so it's, I think that looks really cute on there. Um, this is on one of our boards. The Madison. Yeah, so we have that. It's five and a half round? Yes. Five and a half round. We have those in all different colors, but she chose the white to pick up from the chalk looking. So. Mm -hmm. This will be fully finished before next week. Yes. It's almost done. We'll post it on our Instagram yes, when it it's will. done. It's almost done. Then we have another, almost done. So this is from Jacqueline and Jubilee. It is on a 28 count mystery, mystery linen. The words. You said like eight. I think 844. I did not have the over dyed for these. And once again, I was like, if I don't finish it right now, I'm going to die. So I think I used 844, but it Something. is going to go on one of our black toolboxes. On one of our black toolboxes. I need to put some stuff. I want to some trim around it. And then I want to put some leaves or something and then maybe some um, candy corn uh, like Priscilla uses on picks or, or the felt pumpkins or something. Something, 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 something. I love the little pumpkin with the teeth. They're so stinking cute. <laughs> it's almost done. I have not had time to go to Hobby Lobby. Like I just save it up and then I make one trip to Hobby Lobby and they're, uh, it's insane because I can't, I can't get it all. <laughs> I, I can't, I just can't, I, anyway, yeah. it stay, stays at home. So that's our fully finished, um, FO. Finishes. Finishes. Oh, so this is Urban's Christmas ornament and it is from Sam Sarah. 
And I don't know, a few years ago, she came out with the whole alphabet and then it looks like a Scrabble tile and it'll say like, M, it'll just have like a, the whole alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, D. And this one is supposed to have an M for moons because this are these are the, the stages of moons. So his room is done in space and I thought that would be cute. I'm gonna get like one of those little um, charms to say 2021. I think I'm gonna uh, sew it on right there in that little, I haven't finished, finished it yet, but I finished it. I changed all the colors in it. So I have that done. And then I have this, which is a Scarlet House Sweet Tomato. Now, I don't know if you guys know, I'm sure you do, um, the proper stitcher and I, Annie Turner, um, do Tomato Tuesdays. Uh, we were really good about it. And then sometimes, she's much better than I am. Much better about posting. Tuesdays, for some reason, we just get super busy. I don't, I don't know what it is. Always. I'm like, oh, it was Tuesday. So I started this in April. And I finished it the week he was born, before he was born. But as you can tell, we have not done any more false tubes since he's been born. But it's um, 28 count, even weave. I think it's from Hobby Lobby. Ashley uh, tea dyed it for me. Um, it is oh, so is awesome. It tan dye? No, I don't think it's tan dye because our tan written tan dye comes out too pink. Oh, okay. So I think she tea dyed. I'm, it's so good having a dyer in the family. So anyway, um, it was an easy stitch. Easy stitch. Very easy stitch. I did that first tomato and I just stopped. We are set, we start in the center. And so the center for that, this piece was that tomato. <laughs> and it, I finished it and then I just kind of went, mm. so I, I just decided before he was born, I was like, you have got to get something done. I, I mean, I talk to myself all the time. It's, it's very scary. You gotta ask expert advice. Oh yeah, I need expert advice. So, um, I don't, that's, that's why I have that done. I need to get it sent off. I need to send it off to get framed, but I don't know. So that is what I have finished. Do you want to show what you I have a whip, yes. She has a whip. It's okay. Just one. It is going to go on our black Buchanan yes. right here. So when you see it, then you're going to know it's going to go. Do you remember how um, I finished it and then Priscilla finished it for Kimberly Jolly, the Stitchy Stars on mm -hmm. the white? So she's going to do so it. I'm taking this that Kimberly did last year. Um, and it's nice because it's, it's on the Jolly Jabber, but this page kind of shows this and then those color conversions and everything are on there. So it's, it does make it nice that I can just pull the colors and be like, oh, okay, that's supposed to be a purple stripe in there. And there's the purple color and stitch it. Um, so this is what I have done on it so far. It's not a hard stitch. It's just with him not sleeping at night and liking to sleep in the daytime, um, I don't get much sleep. So I don't stitch that much. And then I have two German Shepherds at home. So my house is just a mess. Um, I will be closing the squares on these, I promise, just so that I didn't have to do a square, stop, square, stop. I just kind of followed along and then once I've got at least like this pumpkin done, I'm gonna go close these two off and just kind of work my way down. And then it will, then we're going to mount it on. Yes, and I'm doing it on 28 count so that. Um, it's the same mystery linen as mine. Yes, it's the same mystery linen. It's, you can see it's kind of modeled a bit. It's not the lighting that is. It's pretty. Modeling, yeah. I really like it. I don't know where we got it though. I have no idea. Um, if you saw my, you know. Um, did, I'm doing it on 28 count so that we can put like a backing fabric or something behind it. Like Kimberly did for, uh, Priscilla did uh, for Priscilla, Kimberly. Yeah, Priscilla did for Kimberly. Because mm -hmm. yours was on 25 count and it was pretty, but. But it went right to the edge. So if you do it on, um. 28. So it's 14. 14. It's smaller and then you can do the little Halloween yeah. print something and then we'll do the bow and anyway, so that is going on this and. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, like all, all of her stitch cards will fit on these if you it's, do the right border. Right. And 24, each design is 24. Yeah, so like these, uh, if you don't do that, that chain link border, then it'll, then it fits. So, um, like you, I want to do a Christmas one going down it. Um, I just ordered the school school what am i gonna do with the school i'm so excited about it so i don't know if you guys know we have a red toolbox and it has a ruler right here so i just ordered the school ones for out in september what was the card j mm -hmm. and there's like like an atlas an apple a school bell 
I don't remember. No, 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 no. School stuff. So I'm going to do three on one piece of fabric on, and mount it on the red toolbox with the ruler. I think that would be so cute for school. Put greenery and like maybe put like some unsharpened pencils or something in it. I don't know. I don't have anybody that goes to school in my house anymore, but I just, mm -hmm, yep, just ordered it yesterday. I can steal some for my stepson. <laughs> yeah, I can just, I can just act like it. I have some. So, okay, that. Hold on. So, uh -oh. While you're getting that, he just woke up. Okay. So we're gonna get to see him. Hold, please. He's really cute. He is all swaddled up right now because just for him to be calm, this is his favorite swaddle. And I didn't, this is the only one we have. Of she course. didn't bring it yesterday. I was like, for the love of God, what's wrong yeah. with you? So this is him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> what a face. Yeah. He loves to make faces. Um, you can't see it in here. You can see it better in pictures, but he has bright red hair. Um, oh, he's adorable. so tired. So this is, this is him, Mr. I don't like sleep, no. but loves the swaddle. So it has, it is built with the hands up like this. Yeah, like that so that he can keep his hands by his face, but then he can stretch his legs out and do everything. But for Mr. Chunky here, I like the double chin showing on the camera. <laughs> um... <sighs> It just barely fits and I don't want to get another one because he gets, we have our doctor's appointment Monday, so we'll know how much he weighs since his favorite pastime is eating. He's a man, man I tell you. Okay, so I'll show you my whips now. So what I'm, one of the things I'm stitching is, it's a free pattern from, I forget it every time, Pinker and Pumpkin quilting she did a free pattern last week she does a lot of free patterns and she's yeah, on instagram it was a week ago today even and i fell in love with this one actually quick print it off for me so it's called 1803 and she had done it on 14 count tea dyed so i grabbed some 14 count tea dyed and it's just dmc thread um it's an easy stitch it's an easy stitch um i still have to do not eight, much 1803 a squirrel a squirrel Squirrel and some acorns, but it's not bad. I'm going to uh, mount this and put it on one of our black uh, pierce boards. Like looks like a big tavern board. I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. So that's our biggest board. Yes, that we have. So if you need something that's bigger, that is our biggest board at this time. We have a sample board, tombstone sample board. Oh, okay. But anyway, but, but we don't make money of them. Also on a Nikki's notable, I have to show my bags. Mine was joyful to two. I love my bags. Baby Yoda. Oh, I didn't put that up. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so I have that done. Well, not done. I have that in the works. Then, proper stitcher Annie and I are doing a stitch along. And we're slow as mud. So, uh, this is Little Robin Designs, Clarissa Beaumont. So, if you want to follow us, I mean, we're like no timeline on it. But if you want to follow us, Clarissa B, S-A-L. So, I have started, okay, I started it. I didn't like the color or material I picked. So then I bought the fabric that I was supposed to call for. So, um, then I had to re-stitch where I was. I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of, it looks washed out. Um, so, I like it, I like it. Uh, I, I think I'm right now, I'm kind of, see, okay, here's the pattern. You can get it online. And see how even on some of this, it looks washed out. So I think once I get down here to the butterflies and the dog, dog and the cat and the, the stuff, um, I'm gonna like it a lot more. Uh, this is a her, this is a reproduction and, it, and she gave all the information about her in here. Well, didn't even show that. But anyway, I gave her gave all the information and I think her dad worked at a textiles mill and he brought home samples. If I read that right, I could be dreaming. I don't know. Um, so that's why it's all different colors. And I have decided that I was going to, like I said to myself, okay, I'm gonna do a row a day. Mm. That lasted one week. And then I was like, squirrel, and I was off to the next, I don't know what. But I'm gotta, I gotta get back to her. After this retreat, I keep saying, after this, after this, but after the retreat, I'm really gonna get back to it. Then, I am doing another jack-o'-lantern jubilee. Mm -hmm. It's on the back. The ghost and goblins. 
So, yep, that's how far I got. <laughs> and I stopped. And I and I like squirreled it and and was like off to something else. So I need to finish it. I don't know. I will. I will. I will. I cut all the fabric for every for all of them. <coughs> all the patterns in here. So everything is in here, and I want to finish it all at some at some point. I don't know. This is a Nikki Notables <laughs> ball bag. So I have that. Then I have this, and this is Fractor. No, this is Redbird Fractor by West I Needle and Thread. Um, love this. Love this. Love this. Love this. Love this. So it's done on fourteen count. I don't know what. That's funny because. I saw this made up at Jill Rensel's and she had um, Matt framed it and everything and I fell in love with it. So I thought, oh, this would be perfect for my mom because we used to have the same taste. So she has never stitched on anything besides 14 counts. So I bought this all for her. I bought the overdyed. I bought the material. I bought, I bought, I bought, I bought, I bought. I brought it home and she said, I don't like it. That's ugly. Why'd you buy that for? I was like, I don't know. My bad. My bad. I don't, what was I thinking? So I just took it away. I said, then I'll keep it. I don't care. So I started this nest on Christmas when my mother was in the hospital and I've been poking along, but then I like, I got a burr, I got a burr in my britches. So like one week I did both vines, like this vine on this side of the bird, that vine on that side of the bird. I did all the letters and I did the, started the lower border. It is not hard. I just, I have, I have ADHD of cross stitch. I really do. <laughs> um, I love it. I love it when it's done. I love stitching it, but then I'm like, oh, something else, something <laughs> else to do. I can do instead. So I work on that. I jump off. Uh, this, sure, this is a dot dot goose. This is a flea market find bag. So like that. So that is what I have been working on. Besides like things for the retreat and um, the, business. the business type of stuff, but. Um, this is this is what I've been been working on. So those those are my things that I've been working on. Mm -hmm. All right, framed pieces. Okay, so I I'm going to try and show you some of my framed pieces each week because I have so many, so many, so many, so many beautiful framed mm -hmm. pieces. Um, when I got divorced, okay, my first my first husband did not want me to frame anything. He didn't want me to spend any money to finish it. He didn't care if I stitched it, but no, nothing. So I just took it and just rolled it, you know, and just rolled it and rolled it, rolled it so it was not creased or anything. And when Ed and I got married eight years ago, I mean, and I moved back to Missouri, I had a roll like mm, big. And he's like, he saw it one time and he goes, what's that? And I'm like, oh, it's all my cross stitch pieces. And he's like, get those things framed. So over time I've gotten things framed. And um, I've got some beautiful things framed. I've gotten some framed at Hobby Lobby. I've gotten Jill Rensel to frame some. So every time I do a floss tube, I'm going to show some yeah. framed pieces. So this is a piece that Ashley stitched me and I had to, I have it because I had to take it down to hang something else up. But this is Mother's Garden by Blackbird Designs. And uh, she stitched it in 2015 and it has my children's names and then um, Ed, my husband, has three stepchildren. He has no children of his own, but his second marriage, she had three children and he just kind of looks at them like, there it is. and then it's got some grandchildren and it's got, anyway, family. It's got family people in here. So she stitched this for me. And then I think Jill framed this, didn't she? Yeah. Jill, yeah. Jill Rensel framed it. And it's like, there's pink in here and there's a little mauve fillet type of, oh, it's gorgeous. There, I don't know. Can you see it, guys? It's really pretty. Uh, this is done on 28 count. We don't know. Uh, that was six years ago. I don't know. 28 count, because that's what we... Now she, now she can stitch on... Now she stitches on whatever. It, whatever. whatever. You, if you give me 40 count, I'll stitch She'll stitch on it. it. I'm, no, I'm still a purist to 28. But anyway, this is beautiful. This is really pretty. I, I love that. So that is Mother's Garden by Blackbird Design. Will you show the other one? Mm -hmm. Then so, the other one, I just got back from Jill Rinsel this week. Yes, true. I unpacked it yesterday. I don't Because Kay was over and it took me, it took me a half an hour to unpack it. She really packages her things. Yeah, yes, I don't really know guys, well, which is good. I don't know if you guys have ever used her. It's Jill Rinsel. She's in um, Ogden, Utah. Mm -hmm. So this is Miriam Dowd. And she is a big girl. Right. She's not that wide, but she's 
it went pretty long. She's on 28 counts, so once again, if you guys did it on 40, it'd be a lot smaller. Um, I don't know. She picked out the frame. She like gives me like five choices, and I usually like one of them, but if I don't, I just say I don't like it, and she picks out another one. Um, she does a beautiful job. I have been so thrilled with every single thing that she's ever stitched, framed for me. <clears throat> this is Homestead Designs, I think. Uh, long, it's an old old book. Uh, yeah. If you guys want to know, let me know, and I will look find it up. It. I'll find it. But it's, if you type in Miriam Dowd, it'll come up. She has a mate to it, and the other one is Zephyr. And I want to do it, but then I'm like, do I really want to do it? <laughs> she remembers this piece. Because it took me about a year. Once again, nothing hard to stitch. I just am like, you know, I would do a couple rows, and I'd get bored of the pink, and then I would put it down, and I'd pick it up for two months. And then I would do, then this is all, this is all black. Well, I get bored of that, and I put it down and not pick it up. So that's my problem is with that. <laughs> but it's beautiful. I have it hanging in my living room. I'm, I'm so so happy with it. Yes. So that is. Yes. And then just for reference, I'm five four, and it comes to below my hip. So it is. It's a big piece. It's a big piece. I love it though. Yes. I mean, I, I feel like you know, with on twenty eight count, I feel bad, but um, I don't. I don't feel that bad because I want to do it. <laughs> so okay framed haul mm. so we'll start out with this we both got them these are um our bags from joyful stitching she's on instagram and etsy mm -hmm. deborah uh your bar your bar i think if i butchered your name i'm so sorry um i feel like i know you very well because i order from you a lot but anyway i love her bags mm -hmm. love her bags i love her bags um they've got some interfacing in them and they're not mm -hmm. super like stiff and straight but they're, they've got body you can still <coughs> move them a bit uh, and then she made us a little notion doodaddy i don't have anything in it yet but i will my one that i'm doing my halloween in is also joyful stitching and i use that notion all the time i mean i will i just um i want to i'm gonna this time next week i will have all my act together so i want to take it all to the retreat i want it to look cute together together and cute <laughs> okay so i told her that i was going to say this but last friday i went to fabric creations it's in cadet uh, missouri and she has a facebook page uh, she's wonderful okay. her name is phyllis she's wonderful uh, she has every thread known to man yes and she has multiples of every thread known to man and so if she can't get it she'll get it she'll if get she doesn't it. have it she'll get it uh, it's a quilt store cross stitch store and I needed a skein of overdive. I needed it. It was like I couldn't substitute it. I couldn't do anything. We needed it. I needed it. So I go, and it's about 45 minutes away. But it's, I mean, it's not a bad drive. It's just 45 minutes away. So anyway, I go. I was there 15 minutes. And I hope my husband's not watching. I spent over $200 in 15 minutes. <laughs> and I, you know what? You know, I say this. I was bad. I was bad. So I got, I got the one skein of thread, and then I got. Uh, I didn't go. This one probably didn't sleep last night. So that night. Uh, so, hold on, I'm still getting. I'm still dragging over. And it falls down. Okay, so first of all, and then if my friend Lonnie's watching, surprise, surprise, um, Lonnie, I'll tell you about Lonnie later. But she is like me, and she can't see. So I bought her, and she's coming to the retreat. So I bought her a Halo Go Light for her birthday. So, um, because this is what I use to travel for. I have Halo Light, but I have a floor light for home. But when I do uh, retreats or go someplace to stitch, I have my Halo Go. I love my Halo Go. So I got her that, um, and they sell them at Fabric Creations. So I got her that, and then I got her this bag. Now, I don't have mine with me. It's in the sewing room, and I tried to get it, and 14 things fell, and I couldn't get it. So what it is, is it's a block showcase bag. And it's this big, and it's about this thick. Two, three inches thick. And this, and it's got a handle, and it's got a clear front. So this bag is big enough to put your halo light in. in I still have mine in my box, so it's really protected. I keep it in there. It will hold, um, this is what it will hold. It will hold halo light 
It will hold um, a, magnet, a large magnetic board. a large magnetic board in the stand. It will hold a extension cord, and it will hold a project bag. So, um, and she sells them. They are I, they are wonderful. I gave this as a gift to someone, and she said it was the best gift, gift I had ever given her. And um, I mean, I had been giving her gifts for like forty years, so I was like, dang. But these are wonderful. Like rush, run, run, run to your computer right now. They they're come, yeah. They, yeah. They're a Yazzy bag. So if you contact Phyllis to say you want the block showcase Yazzy bag, they come in black, teal, Kelly green, red, pink, and purple. Um, I have them in black and purple. I love it. I take mine everywhere I go because you just. And you carry it all in one thing. Now, I mean, I love tote bags. I've got tote bags coming out the wazoo. I love them. But this is, you just, poof, one thing, and you go. And it's all, it is all in there. So, if you're looking, Lonnie, happy birthday. So, anyway. So I Her birthday's it. passed, so it's okay. Yeah, she's coming. So, then I got, I got that. I got the skein of thread. And then I got, I have to take these out. I know that, I know better. But I bought the Plum Street Sampler Flag Flock. You see that and I love it because I love Americana stuff but I don't know if you can see this these are two little sheep dog with the flag and anybody that knows me knows that I am insane about dogs I don't know if I can make that into a chihuahua but I'll try but anyway really cute don't know when I'm gonna start it but that has never stopped me then I purchased you guys need to check her store out she's good She's really good. Plum Street Samplers Always Remember. And um, I was going to start this on 9-11, but I didn't. Um, but we lived in Philadelphia in 9-11, and we were very... We did not know anybody that perished, but everybody we knew knew somebody. Knew somebody. That, we were, I grew up about... We were about two hours from every single attack. And a lot of... Um, a lot of the uh, a lot of people lived in Downingtown and would commute. They would just take the train, and commute into St. or into St. Louis. They would commute into New York or DC or DC. So I mean, it it affected us. Um, not personally, it affected everybody. But I just wanted to do this. I just I love that. So I wanted to do that sometime next year. Three I don't know where nine eleven went. There's like that the whole day. I'm gone. It, I don't know. So then I got the Square Dance Halloween number two. I have Halloween number one. This would be really cute on Oops. on one of these paddles. The square, because it's a square. That's really cute. So I have that. Then I bought a Blackberry Rabbit. It's called October 31st, 1693. So you see that and you see the material it looks like a newsprint yeah i got material it is not looking like it here but it looks like newsprint and at the top it looks like like newsprint like as a newspaper so i thought that was amazing this is on 30 count so i can i can see that uh, and it's all it's done in is black, probably a couple skeins of black, and then 347. Um, anyway, really like, really like that. So I got, I got that as well. That is all I bought at Fabric Creations, but I did that in 15 minutes. Then I don't, I usually put these out already, but I have the floss fix, the classic color works. Do you guys have that? That's the, the browns golden brown yeah yeah they're pretty i those things are great because i always get them and i we get them and i open them up and i go i i'm like well i know one color in this pack yeah so i mean i i'm i'm so happy i'm in that so then i took my mother to st louis on tuesday so i went to joanne's because she was looking for i don't know what she was looking for but we went to joanne's <laughs> And they got the new um, 2021 Christmas ornament. I left this in the car and I just got it out this morning. So I haven't even looked at it. Um, 
I haven't even looked at it yet. I've, I've had it for a couple days. And then, you know, you guys ask about my fabric. Well, this is why I have fabric. Because when I see something I really, really like, I just buy it. So I bought this and it's a greenish color. So you, if you dye one of Priscilla's, is it the, what is that blue that you did so much of last year? The aqua, the aqua and then tea dye. And then tea dye it, it comes out this color. So I thought about doing some ginger, one of Priscilla's gingerbread thingies with this. <laughs> Then I got this fabric. It's so cute. Um, and it is an old pattern. I mean, it is so old. Like, it's probably older than 30 years. But it's a snowman on skis. And it's very plain. It's very primitive. So I'm going to do it on gray fabric. And then so the snowman will show up with the skis. But I saw that. And you know how I just go. I, you, I'm like, that, that'll be perfect on that, that, that piece. that I haven't stitched for 30 years. But it'll be perfect for it. So... I need it. I need it. So, you know, what's a half a yard? What's a half a yard? So, anyway, so I have that. Okay. Are you guys ready? Because this, I have been waiting. I have been waiting all morning. All morning. So. Hold on. You, you talk. Okay. So. Yeah, I've been showing you guys all of these cross stitch, fall Halloween cross stitch pieces. And I would show you the fabric with them. But I never really said what I was doing with them. What I am doing is I am making pillows to sell at uh, my retreat in nine days or whatever. Um, so the people that are coming to the retreat are going to see them. I sent them to my friend Lonnie. Now you've heard me say Lonnie and you sh I showed you her birthday present. Lonnie lives in Utah. Lonnie used to be the finisher for Shepherd's Bush. Like when she was rich, she had four kids. She was raising her children. She stayed at home. She was a finisher for Shepherd's Bush. She, I call her the OG of, she, of uh, project bags because she started out making Shepherd's Bush projects. They were the first project bags I, I ever saw. And she, she was the one that made them. So since her kids have grown up, she works at a real estate agent office, blah, blah, blah. So she really doesn't sew as much. So I said to her, can you please put these pillows together for me? Please, because I mean, I can do it. I'm not one, not as good as her. I can do it, but I'd still be over there struggling on, on the first one, and you would probably hear the words coming out of my mouth, <laughs> and they wouldn't be very pretty. So, anyway, she has made me 31 pillows. I did all the stitching, we did all the stitching, uh, 31 pillows, and she shipped them to me, and I got them this morning. Yes. I have four boxes. I, I have, thought they would be come later, so I came later in the day. So, um, I, I just put them in the sewing room and I didn't open them. So I am going to unbox them on Facebook. I'm um, not Facebook on this floss tube. So you guys can see them the same time I do. Um, so she is now going to start things have calmed down in her life. And so she is going to start finishing for people pillows and things. And I am going to show you the email address to reach her at. This is her email address right here. Take a picture of it. I'll also post it in the comments below. Um, you can reach out to her. Her name is Lonnie and Lonnie Rushton. And I'm telling you people, I would let her finish anything. She's finished all the Shepherd's Bush stockings up till like five years ago, all the, all the stockings. She finishes pillows. She's an amazing finisher. And I picked out the main fabric and she went and got like little accessory fabrics. Cause once you see it, she does a couple different fabrics per pillow. Um, she can, she can do that. She can stitch, put the pillow together with what you want. Or you, I have sent her pillows and been like, help me. I Just don't know. Finish it. I don't know what, uh, mm -mm, I don't know. And, uh, she's finished it. And I have been so happy with every single thing that she's done. And she is probably my oldest friend. She, besides, besides myself and my ex-husband, she was the first person to hold you in the hospital. <laughs> I mean, so I've been friends with her for over 30 years. She's, she's good. She's good, people. She's good. So we are going to unbox these live. I am not live because I, you guys are going to see it, but I'm going to do it live for me. So I even have them stacked over here. I have the scissors. She's ready. I am ready. I've been wanting to do this since about 10 o'clock this morning. And oh, they weren't out here too long after I... Ashley pulled up and I'm like, quick, let's eat. We got to go. Yeah. I came out with lunch. Lunch and a baby. Lunch and a baby. 
So I'm always like, oh, give me the lunch, the, give me the baby. So, oh, ow, I stabbed myself. Okay, you're gonna have to hold on the rest of these. <laughs> Keep talk, talk, entertain. I don't, I don't know, I'm sorry. I don't know anything. She just does baby stuff. Yeah. Here, I'll open. Or, it's actually, I should have had these open, but I wanted you to know that I had not even opened these. This is so exciting. So very exciting. Here's another pair of scissors that might work better. I know I should have opened them, but then if I had opened them, I would have been tempted to look. So I, I, I was like, nope, gotta do this so everybody can see it all at the same time. And you all that are coming to the retreat, They'll be there for sale. Yes. For sale. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Okay. I'm gonna try and tell you the names of them. If I forget and you want to know, say hey, I want to know what blah 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 was. Yeah. I'm gonna try. Okay. Oh my <laughs> heck, isn't that the cutest thing? This is a Halloween issue of Just Cross Stitch. Or is it Just Cross Stitch? I think, I think so. so. Um, I changed the colors to match the fabric of the pillow, but didn't she do a flipping amazing job? Here's the fabric. It's got like the butterfly in it, so that's why I did the butterfly. The butterfly. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, I'm going to let you hold them. Okay, this one is a with a needle and thread boot to you. Like it. um, it's got the it's got purple dress. Remember, I, I changed the color of her dress because I couldn't I didn't have it and miss I got to have it I'm done right right then. Uh, so I did purple and I had this fabric and it's got purple pumpkins in it. But she like does this little teeny look at that little teeny strip. It is amazing in the cording. Um, these are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, Lonnie, these are just, just amazing. So you guys, if you want any finishing, I recommend her. Uh, people that are coming to the retreat, if you want her to finish anything, uh, bring it. She'll be there. She'll be there. Okay. This is Lizzie Kate. Lizzie Kate, well, yes, I can drive a stick. Not fun. And then here's the back of the fabric. Oh my gosh. These are just, I have four boxes of these. Look at this one. This is a Joyce Reed. It was in Prim Stitchers magazine. Um, yeah, that is just. And the back is that one. Yep. Yeah. So. That. Look at this one. This is a Delaney Woods Teresa Maloon, and it is in Prim Stitcher Magazine. The fall one. The fall one. I want to say 2019. I think. I think. I can go back and look, but I think it's done on 14 count. This is the one my mother did um, and gave it to me half finished. I cut it off and restitched it. So uh, that black pumpkin is so cute. And then it's got like a mossy green. I don't know if you guys can see it. Mossy green vine with little uh orange berries and then the fabric has got the same mossy green with the little orange berries so so flipping cute there's another one jack in the boot this is the first time i've seen him guys i think these are so adorable i just and she does such a great job and she stuffed them for me i said i'll stuff them she goes you don't have time to stuff them which is true i did not have time to stuff them but uh, she stuffed them for me. And look, look how straight everything is. I mean, if I did this, I would look like I'd, like I was drunk or something. I don't, I mean, I wouldn't. And then this is a JBW, which is hat. Um, and it's put together with black dot. Uh, Annie, the proper stitcher, stitched this for me. So I think that is adorable. Thanks, Annie. Thanks, Annie. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this over here. Whoop. Excuse me. I'll, Where are you going with it? I'm behind, behind you. Okay. I'm gonna let, so I'll let her do that. I'm gonna open another box. Oh my gosh. gosh. 
It's going to be so hard for me to let go of these. I'm going to be like, I want them all. <laughs> so. Hold on. Sorry. I'm sorry. I just knew if I opened it beforehand, I would oh, I would look at them. Why don't you use the blue one? This one work. I just can't. Oh, I see cuteness. I see cuteness. Almost there. I'm almost there. Okay. There. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, look at this. Isn't this cute? This is a uh, Heinzit. Heinzit pattern? It's, it's, just, it's just called crow. Yeah, if you just Google Heinzit candy corn crow, it's like the first thing that pulls up. Um, I changed the colors to match to match the um, material. Uh, if you guys need the color change, I can I can dig it up somewhere. I kept it. I kept it. That's just a matter of finding it. But the back of it, the front of it. Oh, oh my heck. This is another Heinzit. This is Cat Heinzit. I think he's so cute. He's so cute. I kept the colors the same on this one. And then this has just got spooky kind of tree fabric. Oops. Oh my gosh. You guys, these are so cute. This is um, Priscilla and Chelsea. It's a freebie. It's a freebie. Uh, it was the stacking pumpkins. And this is done on 14 count Ashley dyed fabric. Mm -hmm. And um, Not a hard stitch. No, you did it really fast. And then this fabric, Walmart maybe last year, I think. <laughs> I think, I don't know. Anyway, cute. Super cute, super cute, super cute, super cute. Every every single one I'm like <laughs> I like more than the other. So this one's fall. The Priscilla and Chelsea. Uh yeah. Um Priscilla and Chelsea. Hand dyed denim blue, I think, fabric. Ashley stitched it. Um and then the fabric has got acorns on it. It kinda goes with the little corn. So so fun. And then the black picks up the crows and the fabric she did. So have that. Sorry. This is JBW. This, this is Black Cat and French. And um, then I have this fabric that I found and it says the Black Cat and French. So that I love to stitch Judy's designs. Uh, to me, you have to pay attention. Or you, if you get off, you're like, the cat has 14 legs if you're off. But um, it's relaxing. I don't know. I like making all those little tiny motifs. You know? I don't know. I don't know. It's just, just me. I like it. Then here's another one. Annie stitched for me. Thanks, Annie. Mm -hmm. um, trick or treat. I don't even know who this is by, but if we need to, we can we can find out. So, and it's put together. This is Joanne fabric, but it's also just the spooky black trees. So that's cute. Very cute. Then let's see. Oh, this one's cute. Well, they're all cute, but. I got this pattern off of Etsy, and to tell you the truth, I don't remember the name of it. I can look it up, but it's it's a it's an Etsy pattern. That fabric's Just, cute. Um, and then it, I think it looks good with. There's the fabric. It looks like those retro cats, and I just changed the colors to match the orange. Is that off of Etsy, or is that one of the like Prairie Schooler? Yeah. No, it's Etsy. Oh. Okay. It's an Etsy. This one, they have Prairie Schooler like, looks similar. Prairie Schooler has some that looks very similar to okay. that, but that was a bigger cat. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Then, ho, 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 ho. That's a lot of work for a pillow. My goodness. I lost my mind stitching this. Cause I was like, bam, 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 you know, get them done, get them done. And it, this, this took me a while, but okay. This is, I don't know the name of it, but it's Blackbird Design. I changed the colors, but look at the fabric that goes with it. It has owls. This is, I mean, it's like I buy fabric just like I bought that fabric, uh, but I'm like, oh my gosh, this is perfect 
for this. I have, I just, mm, I love that one. That one, and that one had a lot of work on it, people. Um, the black, I think I went through two skeins of black, but that's a blackbird design. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, people. Uh, please hold. This is this is good. This is some good stuff. Super excited. I got two more boxes. So let's see here. Like I said, I try to remember everybody, and it's all done on fourteen count, almost all of it. Uh, because that's that's all I can do. Uh, my fabric is usually uh, 28 Monaco or even weave because it's I want to enjoy stitching. Almost there. Look at this. This is another, uh, Hein, is it Heinz it? You guys know what I'm talking about. H-I-N-Z-E-I-T, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, look at the prairie points she put on those. And if that is a witch stitch. Yeah, it's so cute. And then the, um, there's like the spider up here. And then the fabric has little spiders on it. I just, oh my gosh. I'm just so in love with these things. Then, this is the Prairie School of Black oh, Hat. Okay. This is the Prairie School of Black Hat. I did him on 10 count. 10 count? Yes. Ten you can do count. those on 10 count? Yeah. Um, I just, I buy, when I go to Shepherd's Bush, I bought a yard of 10, ten count. Um, and we did the, change the colors That's to kind of. the tie in the eyes, because they were green. To, to go with kind of the pumpkin right there. Um, cute, cute. Oh my heck. Cute, cute, cute. Wait. Another Priscilla and Chelsea. Uh, that was a Halloween last year. Yeah. Well, but when we stitched these, they hadn't had their Halloween from this year. Out right. Yet. I mean, we were stitching them all summer long. So she stitched that. That's on some of Ashley's hand dyed charcoal uh, fabric. The material, I think, is a Walmart. Yeah, actually, we have. I just put something away that's finished. I think it's done on that, but that's cute. I don't know the name of it, but I know it's Priscilla and Chelsea. Then here's another Priscilla and Chelsea. You're gonna want this one. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Look at him. Hello, fall. Isn't he cute with the leaves and the fox? And then the fabric has got the fox and um, things. Back of it. She put the little strip together with the uh, goal and the cording. And it's more of Ashley's fabric. Um, yeah. oh, so cute, so cute. Um, yeah, when I was finding stuff to stitch, I was just like, well, I found a big chunk of that fabric, so I just cut yeah. it off and stitched. This is a Etsy pattern. I don't know the name. I know it's on Etsy, but it says Happy Halloween and bats, and uh, the, bat, the fabric has the black bats, and the orange is the same orange. You know, she puts, yeah, I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but you guys, this is just, mm, these are, these are awesome. Um striping she's just so good she's so good oh let's see this is an old old lizzie kate if the broom fits fly it um, i thought that was cute and uh, the fabric kind of i don't know I, I remember trying to find fabric and nothing everything looked weird i don't know i think that's cute i don't that was a uh, i don't know love mm -hmm. it Oh, this is one I just sent her at the very end. I was like, please don't hate me. And I sent her one more. Kay, Reese, and I used to say this. We told our children all the time when they were little, don't make me call my flying monkeys. And guess what the fabric is, you guys? It's flying monkeys. I got the fabric from Spoonflower, I think. They're on Etsy. But I love that. Don't make me call my flying monkeys. Uh, never truer words are spoken. 
<laughs> so that is that. This one is a crow by JBW. And I stitched it on kind of a mauve fabric because the fabric has a, a dirty pink mauve, whatever that color is. It has a tint in it with the crows. So I think that, and then she put the, the little, she loves to do the little trim in the cord. It just, it just adds that extra touch. It's not just, just not just, you know, stripped together and sewn. She, she definitely put a lot of thought into everything. Okay. All right. Can you hand that box to me or put it over here or something? Please hold. I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know where it's going. Or are you going to have to lost track of me. You want to stand yes. up and do it? So. All right. Last one, guys. So if this doesn't get everyone in the Halloween mood, <laughs> I don't know what will. And like I said, tried to tell everybody but if you need to know something I will look it up for you and you know like I, I gave you Lonnie's name um Ashley will also link it below it's uh anyway almost, almost got it one more peek one more side okay oh my heck I think this is one of my favorites Not all witches live in Salem. I, mm, <laughs> that's true. Never truer words spoken. Anyway, um, it does, it's not, we, I didn't pick a very Halloween-y fabric. I just, the thought, I didn't, I don't know. I just like the, the black and white fabric. So yeah. I have that. This one, several of you wanted to know the pattern. It was, what the heck was this thing by? I don't know. Seal harp. I'm searching it up real quick. Okay. That is the skeleton cat. He he took me a week to stitch. And it wasn't hard, but it was a lot of stitching. A lot of stitching. So you guys see him. Um, the sugar skull cat. And it's put together with black spider web fabric. I just oh. So cute. Then this one is a Harp, oh, sorry, hold on. Harp Seal Crafts. Harp okay. Seal Crafts. It's on Etsy. This is a Priscilla and Chelsea mm -hmm. um, last year on Ashley's Fabric. And then she just did the dots. Uh, I think I, maybe this check came from Walmart too last year. I think. I don't know. I think. I think. <laughs> but mm, I like. Oh, so cute. Um... I smell children. I know. I put a spell on you. I put a spell on you. The Sanderson sisters. Uh, this is put together, I know, with Priscilla's pretty plaid. And then uh, the black. This is not a solid black. It's got a little bitty design in it. Little, little bitty design. Like if you looked at it, you'd go, oh, it's black. But since I'm looking at it right here, it's got a little. It's like little, a dark gray. Yeah, okay. dark gray and a black. So, so cute. That's done on 14 count. Thank you, Lord, for everything. This, gosh. It's Etsy. I know that much. I can look it up if you guys want it. It's supposed to have a turkey. My mom stitched this. God love her. She didn't cut the fabric. Right. We, we missed the turkey. So she moved it over. And, I mean, I think that's fine. That's fine. You could leave that out all fall. Mm -hmm. The little log cabin and the pumpkins there. It's on 14 count. And I, I just had this fall looking fabric. That. This one is a Country Rustic Primitives by Country Rustic Primitives. I can't remember. It's on Etsy. Um, I put it on a, this is not a, it's kind of a grayish fabric. Spooky and then it's, it's a spider web there, and then I, the fabric is a spider web. Yes. That is cute. I think that's a 28 count evenly. Kind of like that mauve pink color again. This is the Tiny Modernist, 
and um, it was done on a 25 count mystery Lugana. Um, and he said 25 count Lugana, but it didn't have a name, but it's kind of a sage color. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you guys remembered, I did not have the over guides. So I used the D, it has a DMC equivalent, but whoo baby, there's an orange there. But you know what? I don't notice it as much since it's toned down with the gray plaid mm -hmm. and the uh, orange accent. But um, there's your sewing tomato. It looks like a pumpkin, but see it's a sewing tomato and then the pins are candy corn, a skull. Thing. So there's a little mouse is sewing. I think she's cute. What noises are you making? We have one more <laughs> and I'm saving it. It is my very favorite. Because those of you who know me, I am forever saying, I got a rock from Charlie <laughs> Brown. Because it never fails. Whatever happens in life, I get the rock. It's just, it's, just, it's just how I am. So I found this pattern on Etsy. I got a rock. You just Google that in there. Look at that. Oh my heck, that is Charlie Brown because he cut out two eyes and it got holes everywhere and he has the proverbial rock. Everybody would get candy and he would get the rock. So um, this fabric, oh holy moly, I bet I bought that fabric. How long have you been out of college? I, I bet I bought that fabric. 14, two, seven years? I bought it when you were a junior when I was in Utah. Um, I bought that and it's got ghost. So that's, you just keep your fabric, it'll never go bad. And um, you can, uh, you'll, you'll find the right thing eventually. And I just got 28 count, I think. I'm probably, because that's what all I do. If I, if anything, it would be a 32, but I'm pretty sure it's 28 count. But there's the back of it, the ghost. I, I love that pillow. It's gonna be hard to let me, to, for me to let that go. I love that. So anyway, so that was our big unboxing of 31 yes. pillows. Um, like I said, her name, her email, you can reach her at is Lonnie B dreamers at gmail.com. At gmail .com. We'll put it in the description below, but she does an amazing job. Um, to the people that are coming to the retreat, all these pillows will be there when the when the uh, doors open it, um, too. So I'd like to say we get one done next week, hopefully. Uh, we can show you new stuff that we're eking out before uh, before the retreat. But uh, thanks for hanging out with me for the past hour and ten minutes. <laughs> um, thanks for being patient because Mr. Urban made his arrival and. You know, as much as I love floss tube and cross stitching, my grandchild is like, I actually walks in, I'm like, give me the baby. <laughs> get, just, just. I walked in the other day, Wednesday, and I go, hi, here's your kid, here's your grandkid, feed him, he's hungry, I need to use your dryer. And I said, okay. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's, I, I just, I don't want to miss out on, on any snuggles or anything. So, anyway, um, thanks for joining us. Thanks for uh, looking at all our stuff. I hope I have ins we have inspired you all mm -hmm. to do something. Now that you see all these pillows, you can rush out, buy the stuff, make them. <laughs> if you don't want to stitch them, send them to Lonnie. Or make finish them. Yeah, if you don't want to finish them, whatever. You yeah, still have to stitch them. Yeah, you still have to stitch them. Uh, you can put some things on wooden paddles. Here's some stuffed things. Uh, not everything has to be framed. Mm -hmm. Not everything has to be sewn. Not everything has to be wooden. I think a nice mixture of everything mm -hmm. makes makes it go well. Yes. So um, I hope you have a nice week. I hope you have a nice weekend. Hopefully you can get some fall decorating. Um, I'm, mine is all up in my shop and so I can't climb up there and get it. So I don't know. I mean, I'm to the point I'm about to climb up there and just throw down a witch at a time and make Ed catch it. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, uh, thank you for mm -hmm. watching us and hopefully we will see you very, very soon. Yes. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you.